Alright guys, so this is the box that my bag was shipped in. And as soon as you open it, you can already see that there's some confetti in there and then you see some paperwork. So the first thing that um, I pulled out of my box was a thank you card. It says, we hope you love your purchase. We'd love to see your bag in action. And then it has the fashion file um, account so you can at them if you want to take pictures of your bag and you can tag them. Then you're going to see a fashion file envelope. And when you open that up, the first thing you see is a little card that says fashion file certified. And it's basically telling you that you have peace of mind and that they go through a rigorous six-step certification process to ensure that your bag is authentic. And through Fashion File on the website, it says that with at least with Balenciaga, that you have a lifetime guarantee that it's authentic. So that's super awesome. That's another reason why I really wanted to purchase my bag through Fashion File. Then this is just my receipt, and on there it has the full name of my bag. So the official name of my bag is. The Balenciaga Classic Gold Mini City Ombre Gray Gradient. Such a long name. And then that last piece of paper is just talking about how you can sell uh, back to Fashion File and you can um, uh, get money for your bag. So in here you can see there's uh, confetti and lots of tissue paper. I really like the way they package the bag. They put enough tissue paper in there to ensure the bag isn't uh, shifting around and moving a lot uh, during the delivery process. So. Um, once I pulled the bag out, it had uh, this little wrapping on it, and underneath there it had clear wrap and then another dust bag. And at first I got kind of scared because I read that my bag was going to come with its original dust bag, but I figured it's probably inside. Um, so once you pull back this one, there it is. There it is! I was so in awe when I first saw the little bag. It is so nice. It's so tiny, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> so attached right there, that's the um, that's the tag. I think you have to keep that attached if you want to return your bag for the full amount. Um, but I don't plan on getting rid of this bag, so I left it attached. But um, I do like that they stuffed the tassels inside of the purse. They looked a little crinkled up right like right as soon as I um, pulled them out, but they straightened out and now they're totally just straight. And right now what I'm doing is I'm pulling out the zipper edges. These are called the ears. So some people like to tuck them in the bag. I think it looks really cool when they're pulled out like that. So here's the strap. Uh, obviously it's detachable. <laughs> um, that too, even though it was folded up inside the bag, as soon as I laid it out, it straightened out really nicely. There is that original dust bag, which is not fun to look at, um, but there is the purse. So, like I mentioned, it's the ombre purse. If it would have been a solid color that I purchased, I still would have been in love, but I really like that this bag is different. It's the ombre one, you know, it's, it's really cool. It has some really cool dimension to the purse. Um, right here, what I'm about to show you, it's um, on the zipper. This is one of the ways you can tell if your bag is authentic. It's going to have a little dollar sign right there. I didn't leave that in front of my camera long enough for it to focus, but there's a dollar sign there. And then on the bottom, there is a B. There's either going to be a B like that, or it's going to say Lampo on the bottom of your zipper. And those are just a couple of ways to tell if your bag is authentic or not. Inside, under the Balenciaga tab, like the little logo inside, it'll also have a serial number on the back of that so you can always check that out too. Um, I'm not really going to go into like a review on the purse. I've only had it for a couple of days at this point. I really wanted to give you guys a first look at it right out of the box. I was getting ready to go and do stuff that day so I was super excited that it came in the mail. So there it is. There's the little beauty. Alright, so that was kind of fun. I'm just really excited and really happy um, that I have this bag. It's something that I plan on keeping forever. Again, that's it for me. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to hang out with my new little bag and I definitely will be giving you a review and just kind of going over like what fits in there and just sort of how I plan on wearing it as far as outfits and things like that. I'm going to wear it with sweats. I, I'm going to wear it everywhere. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.